Evaluating and writing algebraic expressions. A variable is a symbol that represents one or more numbers. And I know that seems kind of confusing, but it's a symbol. Normally, it's something that is that we use something like a letter, like this right here. For a, a would be a variable because we don't know what a is. It could be anything. X could be anything here. Y could be anything here. B and D could be anything here. Uh, we just know that they are basically something that we don't know right now with the information given. An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase with at least one variable. So it could just be something that just says a or a plus b, or in this case, 4 times a. Remember, since they're right next to each other, it's 4 times a. This is 2 times x, and then subtract 3 from the result of 2 times x. 10 minus y, 7 times b times d. So if you just remember, what you've got to do is substitute these in and make sure to do the operation between the two or between the three, uh, the three items, then you should be fine. So evaluate each, ex each expression as an example here. Evaluate each expression. Use p equals 3 n equals 4, and s equals negative 2. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this out right here. So I've got 2p, so that's just going to be 2 times p, which is, if we look over here, it's times 3. Sometimes I like to write with just parentheses to make it clear that I understand the problem here. So 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Now it's not 23. That's a common mistake that people forget that this is a multiplication problem. It's 2p, 2 times p. Just like if it was 2 sets of 6, this is 2 sets of p, and we're just defining p as 3. So this is going to be 6 now plus 7. So your answer for this expression is just going to be 13. Now for this one here, we need to go ahead and we can put in here a division sign. And P plus, then parentheses, N divided by S times P. So all we're going to do is we're just going to substitute everything in here. P, P is 3 plus, what's the value of N? 4 divided by negative 2. And then that's going to be times 3. So now if you remember here, again, if it helps here, you can even put an extra set of parentheses around here to make sure that you realize it's divided by negative 2. So we do the stuff inside the parentheses first. So this is going to be 3 plus 4 divided by negative 2. We know that that's going to be negative 2 times 3. And so then we just do the, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally stuff, so we need to do multiplication now next. So negative 2 times 3, and that's just going to be negative 6. And then our answer is going to be 3 plus negative 6. We figure out which one has the higher absolute value. That's negative. The negative 6 has a higher absolute value than 3. So negative 6. Uh, so that's just 6 minus 3, and that's going to be negative 3. Now, writing algebraic expressions, uh, frequently you're asked to figure out a way of representing um, some sort of algebraic expression to solve a problem, a word problem, or some sort of thing like that. So an example here is 5 less than d dogs. So all you're going to do is you're just going to write down, well, d is the amount of dogs, and 5 less would be minus 5. 100 more than M dollars. So 100 more than M dollars. So you could either write this as 100 more, 100, well, actually it should be more than M dollars. So it should be M is first plus 100. You could do 100 plus M, but since it's than M dollars, you should start off with the M. So 100, M plus 100. You don't know what the M is. You don't know what the D is. You just know that that's something you're probably going to be asked to figure out. Five times your quiz score Q. So it's just going to be 5Q or 5 times Q. That's the same thing. 
and divide the total points D by 4. That's just going to be D divided by 4, or alternatively D divided by 4. And that's the end.